I didn't realise it until today, but the Sherman brothers are my heroes. Like many children, I grew up on Disney songs and musicals, and I didn't realise until I watched this documentary film just how much Richard and Robert Sherman were at the heart of most of my favourite films as a child, and also my all-time favourite childhood musical, my second favourite musical of all time, Mary Poppins. This documentary is titled The Boys, The Sherman Brothers Story. This was released in 2009, and it's actually directed by Gregory and Jeff Sherman, who are the sons of Dick and Bob Sherman. And I think that's great. The fact that they are directing this, they're interviewing their fathers, not only do they have the intimate knowledge of their circumstances and what it was like growing up, but they also know the right questions to ask to get the right information that the viewer would be interested in. And it's obviously a fantastic thing that they've done and I can't imagine how emotional they would have felt once they concluded this project. Um, one of the brothers is has unfortunately passed away since this was released. Um, one is still alive. But you will probably choke up at this for two reasons. The first is that it's basically, for many people, childhood in a nutshell. It focuses mostly on Disney because they were contracted with Disney, worked a lot with Walt himself. Um, but there are also films like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and things very beautiful songs that put it this way I don't think there was a song mentioned in this apart from one from a Charlie Brown film or cartoon that I couldn't instantly sing along to these songs are memorable addictive there are songs that have been with most of us our entire lives and that is so emotional but it's also emotional because they didn't the brothers didn't have the best relationship at certain stages in their lives uh, and that's that, that's quite sentimental and quite emotional and their sons kind of pluck that out in a really sensitive way that's still really impactful. And I think the emotion in this is just spot on because it's, you know, I, I did well up several times, but I'm also full of happiness and love and appreciation for these these two brothers who made these songs, that made these films, that made my childhood and many other people's childhoods and for that reason, that reason alone, this documentary is amazing. But it's also very well edited, very well put together. The chronology is amazing. It's got just the right amount of clips from, you know, earlier in the century and film clips, clips of songs, clips at the theme park, theme park interviews with the Sherman brothers, both at the time of recording and way back when, clips of Walt Disney. It's got the perfect blend of everything. There are also um, interviews, or I guess pieces to camera, with various celebrities. Um, ben Stiller's probably one of the most prominent. The reason that I discovered this is because Debbie Reynolds has a few words to say because of her role in the animation Charlotte's Web. She's in it for about two seconds. Completely doesn't matter. Did not affect my enjoyment of this. But that's how this documentary came on my radar, because I was looking at things that she'd done. And... It's so lovely to hear these stories of people who have worked with the Sherman Brothers or who grew up with their music and how it makes them feel. It's also great to hear the creations of certain songs. For example, it goes into a little bit of detail about how the song A Spoonful of Sugar came about, which is a really interesting story. And it's great to kind of hear those tales firsthand and to hear them also playing some of their own their own music. And... There is quite a chunk of this dedicated to Mary Poppins. And to be honest, I don't know how long was dedicated to Mary Poppins because I was so engrossed in this, I didn't look at the clock once. But quite a, quite a, quite a sizable chunk is because it was one of their most noteworthy works and one of the ones that kind of put them on the map. And, you know, it got them a lot of accolades. And for me, that's amazing because Mary Poppins is my all-time favourite childhood musical and my second favourite musical of all time after Sweeney Todd. And, you know, I loved Saving Mr. Banks. I love the book. I love the film. I love the soundtrack. That film, I sing a song from that at least once a day. I'm doing the dishes. I'm singing Mary Poppins. I'm singing to the cat. I'm singing Mary Poppins. I'm obsessed with it to the point of to the point of it being unhealthy and because of how much I adore that musical and that soundtrack and they have given me that gift it's one of the greatest gifts ever 
and I love it and I'm slightly welling up because it means everything to me and I don't know why I love it as much as I do like why would I love that more than any of the others they've done I don't know I don't know what it is but I watched it abundantly as a child and I also watched it abundantly as an adult and they really go into how P.L. Travers really just was not happy even more so than they do in than Disney does with Saving Mr. Banks which is a brilliant film um, we get to see clips of the Oscars and it's just, it's got everything. It's a fantastic journey. It really is from start to finish. It's so engaging. I'm genuinely getting quite emotional. It's uh, about an hour and 40 minutes and if you grew up listening to their songs, I will just say basically if you grew up watching either Chitty 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 Chitty, Chitty Bang Bang or any Disney film, you will have to watch this because it will make you feel... Every emotion, every happy emotion, every sentimental emotion. It's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. I'm really welling up now. It's absolutely ridiculous because these songs have made me who I am. They've given me that personality of a Disney addict, of somebody who lives to watch films, and somebody who lives for that nostalgia of Bedknobs and Broomsticks and Mary Poppins and the Aristocats and these things that I have truly adored and that have been the foundations of who I am. And the main thing with those is the music and they created that. And if it wasn't for the Sherman Brothers, I might not be who I am today. They are incredible. This documentary is amazing. I completely recommend it.